Good morning. Welcome to Seeking His Face today. Pastor Billy here. Uh, so good to go. So good to see you today. I pray you're having a, a blessed week. Uh, I want to look for just a moment in the book of Acts at Acts 1-8. I have been thinking much lately about the third person of our blessed, of the blessed Trinity. Um, God the Father, God the Son, and of course God the Holy Spirit. Uh, as a Baptist, uh, being raised Baptist, uh, I like to talk about God, as most of us do. I uh, love to talk about Jesus because He is our Savior, the second person of the Trinity. Uh, but it's that third person of the Trinity that we we believe in, but we don't talk quite as much about because uh, God Himself and Jesus are both very mystical. But uh, if but the Holy Spirit, uh, talk too much about the Spirit. Somebody might think I'm a little bit more Pentecostal than I really want to be, uh, or charismatic. And so, uh, but but we're not to be afraid of the Holy Spirit. In fact, the Holy Spirit truly is God with us. He God in us. Uh, God God sent the Holy Jesus sent the Holy Spirit, the Helper, as He says in John uh, John fourteen. He sent Him to be our Helper, to live in us to make us into temples uh, of God. So I want to read a verse. I know that you will be familiar with this verse. Uh, if, you're a, if you are a follower of Christ, if you're not a follower of Christ, I want you to hear this promise. Jesus was about to, uh, uh, Jesus was about to be, to ascend. Uh, and, but before he did, he made this statement to his disciples. And he said this, But you will receive power. When the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, and to the uttermost parts, in Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the earth. So he says, you will receive power, and he says, that power will make you into my witnesses all over the world. But do we really experience that power? I want you to think about that. Do you really live in and experience that power? I'm afraid many of us don't really want to experience that power. I'm a little scared to experience that power. Do you want to experience it? Well, I want to share with you three things, and I found the, these in this uh, this old book by Charles Swindoll. Maybe you've you've read some of Swindoll's stuff, uh, Flying Closer to the Flame. I want you to I just want you to hear what uh, what he wrote. He says that there are three forces of resistance that must be moved if we want to experience the power of the Holy Spirit. If you don't want to experience His power, then maybe you should question uh, question your salvation. I don't know, um, but if you don't want to experience His power, you need to you need to do some deep soul searching. But he says three forces of resistance that we have got to remove, that we need to pray for God to remove. And here they are. Number one, the barrier of the fearful unknown. We're so afraid of what the future holds that we, that, that we won't surrender to the Spirit's work. Number two, the wall of traditional limitations. Many times we don't experience this power of the Holy Spirit because, because we're stuck in a box. Because we're, we, we're too used to doing things the same way that we've always done them. And so the, it's the wall of traditional limitations. And then thirdly, the obstacle course of personal excuses. We all make excuses as why why we can't do something for the Lord. We all make excuses of why God shouldn't use us about about what's going. We, we're always making excuses unless we remove those three barriers. Is this is what and this is what uh, what uh, Chuck Swindoll is going to be teaching in this book. This is the beginning of the book. Okay, I don't know where all he's going to go from here, but he says at the, at the outset we have to remove these three barriers: the barrier of the fear, fearful unknown. Known, the wall of traditional limitations and the obstacle course of personal excuses. So my prayer today for me and for you is that we would begin to know God more fully and to know the Lord more fully includes us beginning to know and recognize the work of His Spirit who lives inside of us and surrendering to His Spirit who lives inside of us. So let me lead us in a word of prayer. Father, I bless your name today. Lord, I praise you that you would even begin the good work in us. 
And God, that you would bring it to completion in the day of Christ Jesus. Lord God, we bless and we exalt your glorious name. God, we want to be used by you. So God, right now, Lord, I admit that I've avoided thinking too deeply about your Holy Spirit because he's a little bit scary to me. I don't understand him. God, forgive me for that. Lord God, now would you, would you help break down this barrier that I have of the fearful unknown? Break down the fears that I have about not really knowing what the future holds. God, I pray for you to break down the wall of traditional limitations, God. Would you help us to see the box that we're in that keeps us from seeing the Spirit move? Not just on Sundays, not just on Wednesdays, but every day of our lives. So God, would you help us to get out of mere tradition for tradition's sake, for comfort's sake? And God, break down the obstacle course of personal excuses. Lord, would you show us what personal excuses that we, we have in our lives that keep us from being obedient to you and your spirit. God, help us to hear you and hear what you want to say and what you want to do in our lives. God, I pray that for every single one of us, God, because we need your power. We need to walk in the anointing of your Holy Spirit and the empowerment of him as Zechariah says, it's not by strength nor by might, but by my spirit. God, we don't want to leave this world until we're sure that we've, been, we've given our everything for you. And we need your spirit to help us with that. So God, we love you. Thank you for my brothers and sisters. Strengthen them today, Lord. And it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hey, God bless you. Hope you have a great day. Look forward to uh, seeing you, uh, seeing you uh, tonight uh, at, at church. Uh, if you can be there, I hope you can be there. If you've got kids, families, uh, we've got a place for you. Uh, if you've got students, your students have a place. And I promise you, soon we are going to begin some new new things for adults on uh on, sun, on Wednesday nights who do not have kids that are in, uh, in the kids' ministry. And uh, so look forward to seeing you tonight, uh, Saturday. Don't forget Saturday. Got a great, uh, great big food giveaway on Saturday. And then, and then again, of course, on Sunday. Looking forward for a great day in the Lord. So, uh, hey, blessings to you. We will, uh, we will see you uh, sooner or later. Bye.